Well, good day, my friends. It's your old pal, Jordan the Lion. Scott Michaels. From Dearly Departed, and we're in Florida. I have been to where we're going today, and I just know this is totally Scott's kind of place. I, when I got to come here before, I immediately texted him, I said, what would you do if I told you we could have lunch in a circus train car? <laughs> and he said, next time I'm coming, we're going. So here we are in Sarasota, Florida, at Bob's train car. Days of Jordan the Lion and Dearly Departed begins right now. Yes, we have, uh, looks like four train cars going all the way down there. <laughs> now, basically what you do is you eat in this one and then the further back you go, it's all memorabilia. So let's go on in. They're, uh, closed only on Saturdays and their hours are from 11 to 2 every day. Good diner food. And no pets, please. <laughs> How cool. Little trains all over the place. Old pictures of Sarasota. And a very happy carny here to eat. Our old pal Scott. <laughs> I can't wait. This place is outrageous. Yeah. Looks like we're pretty lucky. There's nobody eating right now. Two. I love all the decorations. You got a little clown you can stare at in the Circus Hall of Fame. Look at this. Even the salt and pepper shakers are little trains, little caboose. So we're checking out the uh, the menu here. And I remember having this, this grilled brie and berry thing. But I'm kind of intrigued by the famous moose burger. So apparently Bob's up there doing the cooking. He's got an omelet station going here. And some ham, please. And green onion. Oh, can't we? The museum's all back there. We'll check it out after we eat. So I went ahead and opted for the omelet bar. I'm going to go up there and have Bob bake my food for me. That's really cool. Bob's got his own train car restaurant, and Bob's the actual cook here. And ever since we walked in, now the place is hopping with people. <laughs> Bob actually sells his own art here. It's right behind the counter, so when we go up and get our omelet, I'll show you some of the art that you can buy of his if you want. Great, now Bob's done cooking for a little bit and he's out walking table to table introducing himself. I love that. Turned into a bit of a bumpy ride while we're waiting for our food, isn't it, Scott? <laughs> My time. Yeah. This is the art I was mentioning there. Raising money because they have the main train car from John and Mabel Ringling's train car and they need to repair it so they're selling these to raise money for the repairs. All right. Breakfast is served. All right, that was pretty excellent. It was pretty excellent eggs. Now, once you're done eating, you can go wander through the museum. So that's exactly what we're gonna do. All right, let's check out the museum. Tons of pictures here of movie stars. Look at that. Then we've got some handprints here. The token Brit. And there's Bob. That's who made our breakfast. Bob Horn. As we saw when we showed up here, it's actually four connected train cars. We ate in the second one. The first one, I believe, I guess we'll find out as we go through here. I think that was the Joe Mar, the one they're trying to repair. Look at all the great memorabilia, all the photos, the clippings, the Walendas, of course, lived in this town. One of the most famous families in the circus. Their home was also where they practiced, so look at all these great photos. Oh, 
and the art. Wow. And there's stuff on both sides. There's pictures of. There's Marlena Dietrich. An original mural of the Ringling Hotel. Huh. Babe Ruth. And there's Lou Jacobs. The face of the circus, I feel like. Colin. Signed photo. Paul Jerome. W.C. Fields. With Uncle Slug. And I mean, it's just amazing how many people they have on the walls here. So cool. Even if they're no longer a member of the circus, at least here, they're all still remembered. And I mean, we could be here all day because look how many photos are on both sides. This is actually a photo of the setup, the tent and everything set up. And the cast of the circus. Gail Barnes. And then this is the Jomar, this is a diagram of the Jomar train that they're trying to bring back. Refurbish, I guess you would say, right? It's a little tight through here, so I apologize if the angle and everything isn't perfect I'm trying to give you the best shot we can and we're missing some of these but then here's the kitchen even though Bob was cooking some of our food, the sandwiches and stuff come from back there. Yeah. 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 It makes sense. It helps a great deal too. No wonder if those fans walk around in the car. Look at this, they have a cool picture of the Pope becoming a ringmaster. Pope John Paul II. Over here they have a Ringling Brothers poster and it looks like this is the printing plate, the Rippers printing plate. Then here they have a little poster of John Ringling and John Ringling's house is the Ringling Museum here I believe or I believe they, him, he and his wife were buried there at the museum and started it. And then look at this interesting table. Bob will serve you a nine course meal if you end up choosing this experience. And there's Mr. Ringling. And then there's all the Ringlings. Otto, Charles, Alf, and then there's P.T. Barnum, James Bailey, and then John Ringling, and Al Ringling down here. And there's P.T. Barnum. Let's move on. It's like a Clown Hall of Fame. <laughs> Talk about freaky! Just, I just came out of the clown room. Why would you do that? <laughs> <laughs> hey, there's Gunther. I saw it, yeah. I just, uh, we did a vlog about Gunther's lion, Apollo. Well, I mean, we showed that Gunther's lion, Apollo, is now on display in the State Theater Antique Store. There's Carla Walenda. 
local. For the past almost so our server is a Wanda. <laughs> so I did trapeze, high wire, sway pull. Wow. And how long ago did your family leave that house in Sarasota? Oh, Arlington? That yeah. was way before I was born. I'm oh, okay. 37, so probably like 50 years ago. Oh, okay. I say. But we went back to do the plaque when I was 13. We actually have the historical plaque next to it. Yeah. Those green yeah. plaques. Yeah. It was so yeah. exciting that when we got that. Is your dad Carl? <laughs> no, that's my grandmother's dad. Oh, okay. But my grandmother No, but I mean me. the younger. Isn't there a Carl? Um, my sister named her son Carl, but that's it. There's so there's Tino, that's Carl Linda's um, grandson, and then there's Nick, that's Tino's nephew. Nick is who I saw. Yeah, yeah that's Facebook. Nick. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. Deli uh, Delilah, his mom is in her 70s, and she just did performing over here. And then my stepbrother Blake does a lot of stuff. He does me pueblos on Cinco de Mayo. He walked. He did the bike. The chair. He did. All who does the, the Renaissance Festival yeah, every he year? Does, he does the okay, Renaissance then that's where I saw him. Yeah. Even does like when Big Top Brewery first came out, they had a big opening and they had two kegs at the end. They were the platforms. The kegs were the platforms. So he would walk back and forth. Wow. Yeah. That's so cool. As if the food experience and eating on a historical train wasn't enough, but then we find out that our server is a Walenda and tells us, you know, some of the family history. How cool is this place? That's a photo of her grandmother, Carla Walenda, at the age of three practicing. That's so cool. <laughs> it's pretty cool she signed us one of the menus and signed it Carla Willenda's granddaughter because she was telling us that she actually herself had trained, has trained and done circus routines. So she just loves working here. This place is just absolutely amazing. As you can see this back train car, nobody's back here because you know it doesn't make any sense to have people back here when they could be in the front and it's a little easier to take care of everyone. but. They do have the capability, or the space at least, for like a big party back here. Hey, George and Gracie. Signed, uh, Rudy Valley. But yeah, this is just a really cool experience with just tons of the history. All the people that have performed, all the guests they've had. Handprints from different, I think, clowns. Look at all the. They've got old tickets. They've got old brochures. Human cannonball. And over here are the handprints. More of the handprints. People have signed their names in the middle. Just a totally unique experience. Just so many pictures you almost can't, <laughs> you have to like literally be here in person to really take it all in. But if you keep going back here, there's even a piano. And an alligator. And a picture of Evil Knievel for some reason. That officially brings us to the very back of the train, which is right here. There you've got a monkey riding a dog. And that looks like a trainer's step. Yeah, if you're in Sarasota, prices for the food, pretty reasonable for any eat-out restaurant. And the experience is second to none because you can actually have Bob from Bob's Train Car cook for you. And they're open six days a week. Can't beat that. Here's the music, some of the music. I'm 
try and give you the the real feel of being here. Hey, there's Gargantua. Their famous gorilla that was disfigured. Not by the circus. When they got him, he was he had been abused. Someone's personal pet. What happened here? Oh, and then look at this. If you can do iron jaw that's hanging by your teeth from yeah. the trapeze for like four minutes or three minutes, I'll let you do the straight pole. And if you feel like just practicing your circus routines, they have this right above the <laughs> right above the egg station, and Bob's over there telling war stories because he's a veteran. But people sat up here and had a lot of and let their kids run, and the kids were tearing these rolls apart, looking at them, and all that, and destroying them. So I disconnected the player portion. But the more people play the piano, the better it sounds. I see. And uh, it'll keep it sound. I see. I worked on it for well over 12 years ago. Now, did you look in the private dining room? Yes, we did. Saw that table you made. I built that table. That's insane. That is fabulous. At 11, uh, it has eight seats and every seat's a left handed seat. <laughs> Are you left handed? <laughs> no, I'm having to But the only way I could get eight people in there is to build the way it is. And I didn't think left and right. I designed it while I was asleep, wake up in the morning, and it was all in my head. And I went shopping and built it and brought it in here. First woman that saw it happened to be left handed. And she said it's a left handed table. And I looked at her and went, like, no, there's no such thing. And then I finally figured out what she was talking about. So, yes, it's left handed. So, elbows, elbow room, right? Right. The yeah. left the elbow never touched the uh, June of last year, they gave me a presidential gold medal for work I did in 1962. Congratulations. Um, Kennedy was president. Can you tell us what, what it was that you did that was decommissioned? Or the they're declassified? Well, I'll show you something. <laughs> wow. Look at that. That's incredible. Atomic. That is crazy. Atomic veteran. That is so great. That okay. is so great. This is the back. And if you can read the outer ring first, that explains things. Uh, the President of the United States awarded for unique service in support of nuclear deterrence. No kidding. So you must have, what did you think about this movie out now? This is everyone going on I actually it? knew about Oppenheimer when I was a kid growing up yeah. in the 50s. And I remember when he was ostracized and etc. Yeah. I had been to Chicago and the first atomic pile was in Chicago at the football stadium, downtown Chicago. Soldier under, Field? Yeah. Under, yeah. under the bleachers. And it was a carbon pile. So that's where they built the first one, and uh, I had known about that, and, and also a lot of the other stuff had been declassified. So I knew about that whole shenanigans. Now I have not seen a movie. I have worked on <laughs> blowing up atomic bombs. Yeah. So. Oh my gosh, uh, that is crazy. And that is I, fantastic. Well, I mean, fascinating, I should fascinating. say. <laughs> it is, yeah, fantastic. Uh, but and it's amazing. And Lacken, he told us so. he's on oh, this yeah, boat yeah, with yeah, the yeah, atomic yeah, blast yeah, going yeah, off in front of it. It's definitely a lot of fun. Wow, what an experience, man. Between Bob and his staff and their history and this town and the circus and everything, unbelievable. But like they were telling us, Bob's trying to restore this train, this is the Jomar, this is John Mabel Ringling. That's the Jomar. That was their private train car. And also the front of Bob's restaurant. So if you wanna help support, come eat here, come buy some of the artwork prints that they have for sale. And it helps this place continue on, helps him make it even bigger and more amazing and help add to the lore of it all. Thank you all for watching. From Sarasota, Florida and Bob's Train, we're gonna call it a day. Have a great night and goodbye. Mm -hmm.